Straight after Elon Musk bought Twitter, it was announced that he's gonna start cracking down on these harsh permanent bans. From now on, people will not be permanently removed from Twitter, and a lot of people that have been suspended over the years could come back. Andrew Tate, a guy who's been taken off a lot of platforms, could be returning, and gave these thoughts on Elon Musk recently. You hear a story about Musk where his dad told him the most important role a man has is to populate, yep. right? And he's got what, I think he's got 10 kids now? Eight kids now? Did you see he just had another set of kids? Some, some uh, ridiculous amount of number, but he's trying to repopulate the, the planet and or Mars. Yeah, he, this is... Yeah. 10 kids. 10 kids? He's got 10 kids. Yeah. You're talking about the richest man in the world, possibly the smart, one of the smartest Agreed. brains in the world, uh, one of the best trolls in the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the most necessary forces yep. in the world where the people that are not fans of you, you know can't stand him that's yep. enemy to state number one yep. they don't like the fact that he can just drop 44 billion dollars and to be able to buy twitter or do anything it's he's true. doing what do you what do you think about elon musk man i love elon and i love that he has he is a man of purpose and i have so much respect for men of purpose most people who get his kind of paycheck whenever he got it in the 90s would have just cashed out hedonism and bullshit he, he decided to risk it all again to try and achieve the most impossible things that's how you got to where you are that's so how I got to where I am. When you have enough to stop, but you don't stop. For some reason, there's some new mountain to climb. And that is what's beautiful about men as a whole. All of the exploration on the planet, the deep sea, Antarctica, Mount Everest, all of it was a man who had enough and thought, no, I'm going to go anyway. And that's who Elon is. So I have so much respect for him because he didn't, he doesn't need to do any of the stuff he's doing. And he's adopting the biggest problems in the world and all the headache that comes with it. You're right. All the, the heat and all the dislike and all the pressure. He's adopting it anyway. And those are the kind of men we need more of. Andrew Tate previously did say he thinks Elon Musk needs to buy the whole of Twitter, not just 8%. This is what he had said on his podcast before. Thoughts on Elon Musk buying part of Twitter. I'm a little bit disappointed in my man, Elon. He spent 1% of his net worth getting 9% of Twitter. We all know if Top G had that kind of resource. Obviously, I've got more money than Elon, obviously, but I have to keep down the DL because then I become the world's richest man on top of being the world's most sexy man, the world's smartest man, so I have to hide my money. But if people knew I was richer than Elon, I wouldn't be spending 1% of my net worth to buy 9% of Twitter. I'd be spending all my net worth to buy all of Twitter, everything. All of it. I don't be playing no games, no 9%, 9%. Imagine your fucking bitch, you give her 9% of your dick. Is she gonna be happy? Yes or no? Let's do a poll. How do I do polls? This is usually Tristan's job. T, how do I do polls? T, how do I do polls? All right, T ain't talking today. I don't know why he's shy. So I don't know how to do polls. But we all know 9% is not enough. So... A friend of Andrew Tate's actually tweeted, yes, hashtag Andrew Tate is returning to Twitter. Thank you, Elon Musk, Twitter takeover. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure you drop a like and, of course, subscribe with that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.